Hi guys, uh, it's Devin here with another episode of Cat Kids Art Corner where we get creative, sometimes we get messy, we talk about how to practice mindfulness and use our five senses as a way of coping with big emotions. And that whole spiel that I just did basically means that now is a great time for you to check in with your body, check in with how you're feeling, and to create some art because everybody needs those kind of recharge moments throughout the day. Um, whether you're a kid, whether you're a teenager, whether you're an adult. Um, so hopefully the, this video can kind of be a reset button for you to take a couple deep breaths, check in with maybe some parts of yourself that you haven't checked in on in a few days or weeks or months because there's so much going on uh, around us lately. Um, so let's take a second before we even get to our art making and check in with ourselves. So if you've watched these videos, you know that we really like to start the videos with a couple deep breaths. It's important to make sure that whenever we make art, we are grounded, um, especially if it's going to be a messy activity. So let's just check in with our bodies for a second. Go ahead and put a hand on your heart or on your tummy, anywhere that you feel comfortable. Take a deep breath in. Notice the sound your breath makes. Take a deep breath out. Keep breathing deeply. Take a couple more deep breaths. One more. Um, so we are going to do an art activity today. Um, and in the past few episodes, in a couple episodes ago, I believe I asked you to set an intention for your art making, sort of like um, a word you wanted to keep coming back to, something that you wanted to manifest for your art today. Um, and I, I always welcome you to do that. I'm not going to guide you through that today. But I did want to share something that um, my wonderful friend Chelsea in a yoga class shared with me the other day. Um, and we were, we were getting ready to do yoga. If you've ever done yoga before, you know you kind of start with the deep breathing. You want to check in with your body before you start your body moving. Um, and she kind of acknowledged that like there's a lot going on in the world right now. Um, and that morale, our moods, are most likely affected by the chaos around us right now. Um, if you're a kid, if you're a teenager, if you're an adult, I think you can probably relate to that idea. Um, and so she had asked us to, just to ourselves, think about one thing that's going well for you right now. And if you're really struggling, that might seem like a really frustrating thing to do, um, especially when there are kind of huge changes around us. It, it can, some people might respond to anger, like, I can't identify one thing. Um, I'm, I'm going to challenge you to do that same thing, because when I was able to identify one thing that was going well for me, it kind of just shifted my whole perspective. Um, and we talked about a couple episodes on Cap Kids cor Art Corner. We, a couple episodes ago, we talked about shifting our perspective. So my hope is that in doing this, this can also kind of shift your perspective, even just for the few couple minutes that we're creating art. So what I want you to do is, before you make art today, what's one thing that's going well for you? Maybe you are happy about the weather today. Maybe you learned a new skill. Maybe it's just that you didn't burn your toast this morning. Um, maybe you made a new friend. Maybe you rekindled an old friendship. Whatever it is, Take a second and acknowledge that, and acknowledge that as heavy and as hard as things seem to be sometimes, there's usually some brightness hiding somewhere. And it's important to acknowledge the whole spectrum of emotions, right? Like we can feel big feelings that are difficult, like happy, like, like sad or angry, and at the same time, we can also feel happy about other things. Uh, the fancy word for that is cognitive dissonance, but basically what's that, what that means is that as humans, we can hold two opposite emotions at the same time. Um, and I think acknowledging that that's possible can really kind of open doors for a new perspective. Like, yes, there are so many things that are difficult and challenging right now, but at the same time, 
there is good and there is lightness. Um, so that is just kind of what I wanted to share with y'all today because I had a really kind of like, it was an aha moment uh, whenever, whenever Chelsea shared that with me, so I wanted to share that with you. Um, anyway, let's get started art making today. We are going to be doing shaving cream printing today. Uh, this can get really messy. Uh, so make sure that you are working somewhere that you can either wipe down, maybe a kitchen countertop, uh, maybe you have a craft tray, um, because it is likely that you will get shaving cream in places uh, either on you or on the table. Um, so I included a supply list, as usual, before the video, um, but let's make sure that you have everything that you need before we get started. So we need shaving cream, uh, we need a bowl, we need a piece of thicker paper, watercolor paper is great, cardstock is great, um, a craft tray or a shallow bin or something to put the shaving cream on. You need something with a straight edge like a ruler. Um, and what else do we need? We need uh, a pencil or a dowel or the back of a paintbrush, something that you can put into the shaving cream. We need food coloring and we need a cloth. And I think that's it. This may be the most supplies we've ever needed for any Cap Kids art activity. Um, so if you need to, go ahead and check back in the beginning for the list, or there will be a list of the supplies right underneath this video under the YouTube um, title. So go ahead and grab those, and let's check back in with each other in just a second. Thanks. Welcome back. Um, the first thing that I would like you to grab is your bottle of shaving cream and whatever you are going to put your shaving cream in. I have this really awesome craft tray, which I will be using. Um, I have seen this done just on a kitchen countertop without a tray. If you're feeling adventurous and you don't mind cleaning that up, that is also an option. Um, so, oh, also, pro tip, I found these uh, shaving creams at Target. They all have different scents, so if you're really into, um, if you want to sort of amplify the sensory aspect of this activity, you can kind of check out uh, these options from Target. They have shaving cream that smells like flowers, this one smells like the ocean, um, kind of like nice relaxing scents and not like overpowering. Um, so feel free to check that out. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we want to put one consistent layer of shaving cream on our surface. And as always, I encourage you to um, pay attention to your five senses. There's a lot going on when we pour shaving cream. You can smell it, you can hear it, you can feel it. Um, so feel free to kind of take a second and implement that into this art making process as well. Um, so when you have your tray of shaving cream, the next thing you want to do is you want to take your ruler or whatever you're using as a straight edge and you want to smooth out the surface so that it's as flat as possible. Um, I couldn't find my ruler, so I'm using these one of these feelings cards um, because they're easy to wipe down, but you can kind of use anything as long as it's going to give you that straight surface. So let's go ahead and create that straight surface. Make sure it is, doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, art does not have to be perfect, but just try to make it as flat as possible because that will give us the most, like the best print. All right, and this is where your towel comes in handy. You're gonna be using this towel a lot to just kind of wipe off the excess shaving cream. Um, we will not be needing this for a couple minutes, so feel free to put your flat, uh, your flat surface over wherever you want out of the way. Okay. Um, so the next thing that we need is our food coloring, and I am realizing that I forgot my food coloring. Um, I will be right back. My food coloring. Um, and I also grabbed myself a little bit of coffee because I think I'm just really forgetful this morning. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to choose our food coloring colors. You can use as many or as little as, possible, as you want. Um, and we are going to be dropping the food coloring directly onto the shaving cream. So let me go ahead and move my camera down so you can see what I'm doing. There we go, okay. So I have my food coloring and I'm going to drop it wherever I want really. And I use food coloring a lot in these cap 
kids art corner videos because I know that it's probably more likely that you will have food coloring at home than you will have watercolor paint but uh, liquid watercolor is also uh, usable here. I have also used it with uh, like regular tempera or acrylic paint but it's not my favorite. I definitely prefer the more liquid uh, paints as opposed to the thicker ones when it comes to this activity. Okay, so when you have when you have a good number of colors here, you're gonna take your dowel or your fork or whatever you want. I'm using the back of a paintbrush, and you can move this paint around and create little designs. And create swirls and create shapes. You can watch how the colors run together. Uh, sometimes if you mix two colors together, it'll create a different color. That can be really fun. I'm noticing some oranges popping up from this red and the kind of green yellow that I have here. It's creating orange. I always find that kind of fun. It's nice to be surprised with art. Um, whenever you're making art, always be open to surprises. Sometimes you think they're mistakes. They're actually surprises. Okay, so when you're satisfied, I'm speeding up this process just for the sake of the video, but you can take like five, ten minutes kind of swirling around these colors. It's really neat. Okay. So we got some right there. See that? Um, and so what we're going to do is we are going to take our paper and we're going to rest it directly on here. And very gently, tap, 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 tap. I am barely pressing down. I want, I want the paper to sit directly on the shaving cream, but I don't want to smush it down. Okay. So if you remember, I said spatula. The spatula will come in handy. You can also use that um, this straight edge ruler as well. Um, since I didn't have a ruler, I grabbed a spatula. So, are we ready? Um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull this off. Boop, 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 boop. Awesome. Wow. So you have made a, like an exact print of what you have here, on here, um, and you will probably notice there's a good amount of shaving cream still on your paper. And that is where, where did I hide it? That's where your bowl comes in handy that I asked you to have. So. Grab your bowl, and you are just going to scrape off the extra shaving cream into the bowl. There you go. And this is where your art can also transform because you might notice that some of the shaving cream is smearing the colors. That can be really fun to see what happens. Uh, if you don't want it to smear the colors, you can leave this out and let the shaving cream dry. It will kind of um, crumble off eventually. I like adding this sort of extra smeary element to it, but if you're not into that, you definitely don't have to. And you can put the paper off to the side, let it dry, and you will get the same result. Um, so here we have our awesome shaving cream print. Um, I always sort of defer to abstract because I feel like that's the I feel like it gives me more freedom to kind of experiment and be surprised with colors. But you can also create like a picture with people and houses and animals and plants and whatever you want um, in the same way. Um, keep in mind that this is a print. So if you write your name, you will want to write it backwards. Um, I learned that the hard way. <laughs> um, so here's our shaving cream print that we made today. Thank you guys so much for following along and for participating. And try to take a second and think about what is one thing that is going well for you today. Uh, for me, it's that I got to do this video and that aside from forgetting to bring my food coloring to the recording of this video. It was successful and honestly is a great kickoff start to my week is being able to create art. So 
Thank you guys so much. As usual, if you have any questions or comments or you want to share your final product, please email it to me. Email me pictures, email me questions, whatever, uh, at devin at capkids.org and follow along on Instagram at capkidsartcorner. Have an awesome day.